so hello YouTube finally um, for as long as I can remember everyone just like oh my god you should do YouTube like you'd be so good at it and I just have never done it I've always made an excuse I'm like I need to buy a vlog camera I've just got this big camera which just looks embarrassing to vlog with um, I could use my phone but I make excuses for that as well so I just feel like 2020 is the year I just need to like get on with it and just do it because for so long I've watched YouTube videos and been like oh my god I want to do that and I think this is the start so I'm gonna go shopping today um so sort of like a come shopping with me but I don't want it to be boring and I don't want it to be like what everyone else does so I think I'm gonna try and pick like key pieces that you should have in your wardrobe that you're gonna have forever because I'm really all about sustainability all about reuse recycle my f ideal like comes from with me would really be to like vintage and charity shops but I can't move to go into London today so we're just gonna have to deal with the local shopping centre so yeah I just realised sorry about my pale hands and sorry about my lack of nails um just never been that girl to like go and get acrylics done I don't know if anyone else can relate I've just never had like the urge to go and get it done um I had my nails done like once at a salon for like not even for prom, I think it was for just like, I got given a gift card, but I just never ever wear acrylics. I've got naturally quite like long nails, so I just feel like I never really, and I just, I do a lot of art and I do a lot of makeup, so I just feel like it would just feel really weird to like pick stuff up. I don't know if anyone else can relate. Um, and also the mirror is really, really dirty, I'm sorry. Um, I need to work out how to actually film my face, but obviously this camera does not have a viewfinder, so it's gonna be quite hard, but I will try for you guys. So also guys, another life hack for you. Sorry, the bloody camera strap in the way. These are basically what I wear under every single one of my tops. Um, they're just like little t-shirt bras. They've got like a tiny bit of padding, but they're literally just the comfiest thing in the world. Like now that I've worn these, I don't think I can wear like a normal bra like ever again, unless like you can see this underneath. These were literally from TK Maxx and they were like three for 10 pounds or something stupid like that. But if you've got small boobs and you just want to be comfortable, yeah, invest in these. This is how it looks. It's not Vegas at all. Do I just like go like this to like try and get abs because same. So I'm really pale at the moment as well, which is just not a vibe. Right, I need to get dressed now. So I thought I'd just show you guys what I think I'm gonna wear. Um so I've got on my Metallic. oh no it is Metallica, I always call it the Nirvana t-shirt, but it's the Metallica t-shirt. Um, this is from Urban Outfitters, love it, I've actually tied it up so it's normally like quite long, but I don't want to look like a boy, so I've already got like joggers on, so I don't want to be too baggy, and this jacket's quite baggy as well. And I've also got my long hair, and then this necklace, I get so many questions about it. It's actually not a necklace, well, the chains were just from H&M, it's like a set, and then this little Chanel pin was vintage from Portobello Road Market, and I just clip it on, and I clip it onto bucket hats, onto blazers, it's probably like the best purchase that I've made, and I literally use it all the time. So yeah, I'm just going to get my shoes, and I think I'm going to wear my track to Benziaga's, um, does anyone else just get like anxiety of wearing their designer purchases? Like I'm obsessed with designer stuff, but like, if it's raining or if I think it's going to rain, I just will not wear them because I already had a bad experience with my triple S. So I've got hair. Um, so yeah, I really need to become less overprotective and just enjoy them, but I find it hard. So I'm going to wear my track twos today and I'm going to wear my Prada bucket bag as well, I think to finish the look. Right guys, I'm in Zara, changing room. I tried to vlog a little bit in the store, but I don't think they really like it. I don't think they really like people filming. So, basically I just wanna pick up pieces that I like, timeless, have forever, basically. So these are the leather joggers. I'm gonna try to pick these up in. Where is it? It's not focusing. A large, because I wanted them to be like, baggier and then like draw them in a lot of the waist um, and these are where are books in? I think 
Right guys, so these are the joggers. I don't know how I feel about them. I mean, I really like the colour. But this is the problem that I always have with every single pair of trousers that I ever buy. Is that they're just too short. If you're 5 foot 10, like Zara, what are you doing? And nothing ever, ever fits. But And also because I've got a large, they're quite like a lot of material here. Which is not great. But the colour's really nice. If you're like 5'5 five five or below, they could work. I wanted to show you this blazer which was the other thing that I picked up I will show you the price afterwards so I've actually got this in or very similar to this in the grey I think this is a bigger size but it just fits so nice and the quality is unreal I think this was only like 12 99 I do not need another blazer but it's just a really nice like boxy shape I think this is a large or a medium it just looks really cute and blazers just go with everything. You can dress them up or down. So if you don't have a blazer already in your collection, Zara, come through. I also would not wear this with this together. But um, another thing that I picked up was these black leather trousers. These are actually slightly better in length than the other ones because they're like you can wear them with boots and it's fine if you can see a bit of your ankle. Um, I don't know what sizes are, so I've not been telling you the sizes or the prices. Um, and then this is the jacket that I picked up, which is like a scuba material. So I feel about maybe I need like a smaller size or a bigger size. The fit's a little bit odd. But, um, and my only complaint is that they're quite low waisted, which is really annoying because they're only really like high waisted stuff. And then a styly vlog. This is cute. Quite cute. It feels horrible. Horrible. This is all rubbish. Right. So I'm in the H&M change room now. So I'm in here now. This is so much better than the Zara one. And the light is so much nicer. So hopefully, I've got some cool things. Look at this part of my hair. It's really nice. It's so much cooler. Look at my hand. The first thing I'm going to try on is actually these. So I actually got a pair of these from Topshop, but they're starting to go a little bit funny. And these I think were literally £8 in the sale. But you literally can't go wrong with a pair of leather, straight leather trousers that just go with everything. You guys, no wonder these are like. Can you see that? Oh my god. Why the fuck would you make a pair of trousers with a seam there? Like how unflattering. Okay, definitely a no. Okay guys, next up. Got these joggers. Which I'm not mad about because they're skinny joggers and I'm more of a baggy jogger girl. And I got this top as well, which I think would look better like this. But it's got this cute little metallic detail. Also, I feel like the t-shirt is much cuter like this. That's such a shame it's not cropped because it's so cute. Mm. Right, next up we've got this sweatshirt, which I actually really like. It's really cute. It just says UCLA. I thought this would look really cute in the summer with like denim shorts. Or like black skinny trousers. I just got on with the which I'm not working on, but right next up I've got these khaki joggers and they've got like this really cute little pocket detail on the side. Right next, I got this cute little basic top. I like the diamond tee on it. Yeah, in a minute, what do you think of this one? This is the last thing that I'm trying on. It's like this leather shirt. 
I'm wearing these comfy little tie waist. So I'm having some in a large and some in a oversized. I think it's quite a good fit. I love this. I just got so much stuff like it already. Looks so much. So. Looks cute.